Okay, now with Bonfire Night just around the corner, people across Britain are gearing up for a night of dazzling fireworks. But for our furry friends, the bangs and the crashes can all be a bit too much. Thankfully, Bill Turnbull is on hand with a solution to calm those panicked pets. And you are back. Um, such a with, lovely idea. It's, uh, it's, so it's, nice. Explain what it is that you're doing, because it was so massively successful mm, last it year. It was. Well, uh, classical music is, is... Most of it's sort of pretty calming for people and, and animals <clears throat> most of the time. But on Saturday night, uh, between 7 and 10, and then on Guy Fawkes night on the 5th, so that's next Tuesday, yeah. same hours, we'll be doing two special programmes with music designed to keep pets particularly calm. And last year we found when we did this... People were sending in pictures of, of their pets, saying normally it's a, the you know the cat or the dog is shaking with fear, and this year nice and calm asleep on the sofa or Isn't the mattress or whatever. So is there any sort of science behind this? How music kind of affects animals? There there is something. There, there's a science to suggest that if you listen to the right kind of music, it lowers your heartbeat and yeah. lowers your blood pressure, and it also works for animals for animals too. as as well, which is really terrific because it means if you put on the right kind of music, you can calm. I mean, when we go out, we put classic FM on for our three dogs and they probably prefer it to when we're in and chatting in the there kitchen. They are, that, 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 oh, oh, that's them, three that's them, the lovely three, yeah. <laughs> they are so, yeah. so who, picks, uh, who picks the music? Well, um, we've got a, a few pieces which are related to, specifically to animals. So uh, there's a piece by Elgar called Mina, which he wrote for one of his Cairn Terriers. Oh, really? Yeah, there's uh, one of the Vision Dong leader by Wagner, because Wagner was a, uh, I think he was a Labrador man, if I remember correctly, <laughs> and, and Grieg. So, Three like that, and then the rest have been picked specifically just for their sort of calming qualities. You're, in, like. you're out in the countryside in Suffolk, mm. I think, aren't you? So, yes. so not too troubled by the no, bangs No, fortunately and not. But when we used to live in Buckinghamshire, where it was sort of a lot busier, mm. then I used to find the firework season used to go on for a month, mm. really. And uh, so you've got the two big nights, which, which is fine, but then you get these other un unscheduled yeah. bangs and noises. And we put our pets really threw the ringer on this. I mean, it's torture for them. They can't tell us, and they're just absolutely terrified. And I think we should probably pay a little bit more attention to, to that. To the pets. Um, also on the night, you're going to be partnered with the RSPCA, and they're sort of going to be offering advice yes. to, to any worried yes. listeners or yes. pets. Yeah, I and mean, the most basic thing, I suppose, is to sort of keep the windows uh, closed, keep the noise down as much as you can, draw the curtains, mm. and in some cases create a safe space, so a little dark space that your pet can go into, like a cave, if you like. That mm. they Obviously, you haven't got a cave in your house. You probably have got a cave in your house. <laughs> I've got but, a number. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Entire network. Yes. Cave. <laughs> All but, you know, of wine. <laughs> a little say, sort of... I think it's called a wine cellar. Yeah. <laughs> a little tenty space that they can go into and feel safe, because they want to feel... Enclosed, that's where they, they yeah. feel good. Yeah, and, nice. um, and so, I mean, you're quite obviously not slowing down. You're working as hard as mm. you've, uh, as you've mm. ever worked. Um, and it begs the question, how are you? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling remarkably well at the moment, thanks very much. I, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, advanced prostate cancer, uh, coming up on the second anniversary. Uh, and I am in no pain, uh, no discomfort at the moment. I've changed what I eat, I've changed the way I live. I've cut out almost all alcohol apart from special occasions. And as a result, I do feel physically mm. a lot better. Mm. Psychologically, it's different because you go through ups and downs and I'm on a hormone treatment, which can be a bit weepy from time to time. Yeah. But um, that's all part of the deal. But most of the time, I'd say 85% of the time, I feel great. There's yeah. a piece in The Times today where you said, I used to get angry about it. I go to the bottom of the garden and shout at my cancer, yeah. get away from me, get lost. But I don't now. I uh, don't believe in this notion of battling cancer, dominating and destroying it. I think it's the approach of Western medicine, but I've come to see it as part of me. Mm. Well, Western medicine has great benefits, and I'm, uh, I've had amazing treatment from the Royal Marsden Hospital, and I'm going straight from here to there today for uh, a another round of treatment, and I I've, I've feel remarkably better thanks to that. But we do have an attitude a lot of times, you've got something wrong with you, let's fix that problem by a drug treatment or a course of treatment or surgery or something like that, which is necessary. But at the same time, I feel that maybe we can try and heal ourselves mm. from within by changing the way we live and just by a psychological attitude. So now I'm coming to feel, well, this illness is part of me, so I need to try and work with it. And with the it. psychology of that is also the same. So I'm not going to try and kill you, tumors, but let's just see if we can make ourselves better. And I, I really... I... I get that, I understand that, but how easy is that to actually 
do. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because yeah. they're so programmed well, one it, other way. Yes, it, I think it's all about... I suppose from the moment that you wake up, to try to think positively, yeah. to say, it's a lovely day outside. Even if it's a horrible, nasty, wet day, just say, well, it's a wet day, this is all part of nature and there is still a beauty to it in a, in a certain sense. And we live in a, in a really fantastic world in a remarkable universe and I and you are part of that and let's play our part to the fullest as much mm. as we can. No, there are days, I have to say, when that is not my attitude, but most days I can do that. But I do yoga, I meditate a bit, and I, yeah. I, I just try to keep smiling. What yeah, about um, uh, looking into, uh, into the benefits of cannabis oil? I know that's something that you've taken quite mm. interest in. You've taken an interest in it, and yeah. you've taken it. Yes. Well, um, there is, uh, the difficulty with, with, with cannabis is there are a, a, a lot of... Um, uh, stories about it, there's a lot of anecdotal evidence, but full scientifically proven it, it, uh, evidence is a bit thin on the ground because there haven't been enough trials done. But there are a lot of stories to suggest that people have taken cannabis oil, and in fact, you've had a guest, I think, on yeah, your programme yeah. to say that she was uh, healed of cancer as well. And in the documentary we had last week, uh, we talked to Darren Blackwell, who was three days from death, and somehow his condition got turned around when his mother gave him a high dose of, of, uh, of cannabis oil. So I have tried it. Um, it. The difficulty is getting the proportions right and knowing what type to take, and we're all in the dark, so you, it's experimenting mm. a little bit. But I take CBD, for instance, uh, every day, and I find it's very helpful. Mm. Thank you for coming in today. It's lovely oh, to pleasure. see you. Lovely to see you in the, uh, the radio show. To calm your pets and uh, to calm you yeah, uh, exactly. is on Saturday, 2nd of November, um, and, uh, and also it's on Thursday the 5th. And um, that's seven till ten. Yes. And uh, yes. Classic FM. Thank and you, you can get your a dedication in for your pet if you get in touch through classicfm.com. That's very sweet. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, you very much.